Hi and welcome back to Warframes Revisited. Today we're going to take another look at uh, Rhino here. For some reason the stats in the bottom corner just disappeared though. Um, he is one of the tanky Warframes with 190 armor so it does come in handy. Uh, he's got 450 shield, 300 health, as a base standards without any mods so he is a pretty tanky frame. With the mods installed, maxed armor, I mean it's almost 400. So he is pretty tanky. The shields is over a thousand, health 740. So he's not a bad warframe to be honest. We did form room three times, but we actually made a big mistake here. We actually put this D in the wrong place, so we accidentally format out one of the ability slots. Probably would have worked better if we'd left that in there, but for the sake of this, I did move it over there because we added a dash, a D, and a V. That is for Rush, because Rhino is slow. Uh, the D is so it could fit the armor, health, and shields. And the V is for Intensify. Now for this, we basically added uh, a rifle lamp. Uh, depending on what you're doing, because you can swap it out for a steel charge and get a hell of a lot more points. <laughs> So we do with Rhino is one of those rare ones where we do swap out uh, one of the auras. Just depends on what we're doing. Especially with melee 2.0, steel charge comes in very handy. But he was built with rifle amp, and obviously there'll be a lot more points left if we left that in, which was a uh, was a, a bit of a noob move, if you will. Now we basically left in raw. Iron Skin and Rhino Stomp, that is basically crowd control, buff the teammates and protect yourself. <laughs> we added, as I said before, Rush to make him run quicker. We have Shields, Health and Armor because he has a lot of armor. It just made sense to drop that in there. Uh, we added Streamline instead of Flow. You can put either in to be honest. They both take up 9 points. But Stretch and Intensify. Stretch is power range. Intensify is power strength. They both affect Rhino Stomp and Raw. So Raw is actually the damage boost that is given to allies is increased by the Intensify mod. And I had to look that one up because I wasn't sure when I started doing this. To get the parts for Rhino, it is Venus and Ratchet Lucky because this is about to hit and it's this mission. So we'll be quick with the first two abilities. We have Rhino Charge, which is basically just like Excalibur's. You just charge forward. Obviously with Intensify, that will go further. Um, and Power Duration will make it last longer even. Intensify means it does more damage. Raw here will put an aura around you and it actually increases the damage that you do. Though, to be honest, on Venus it doesn't really matter much. <laughs> so that was a, a bit of a waste. Then, obviously, we have Iron Skin, which means you... It grants immunity to knockdown, but has a big side effect with um, Melee 2.0. Apparently, you can't block bullets. Um, it'll still block them, but it's something to do with you, only able to perform a finishing move. And then we have... Stomp, which basically kills everything around you. Those it doesn't kill, it does launch into the air and they're basically frozen there for a, an amount of time and that is why we didn't put uh, duration on this because if you add power duration then the enemies will actually stay in the air a lot longer than they will normally. Iron skin actually works against these things as well. I liked it when you could actually stand here and block the lasers so people could run past. But the lasers just kind of completely ignore you now and continue on anyway. That's a damn shame. And this is the guy that drops it. This is the Jackal. He was actually surrounded by enemies right now for some reason. There's just Moaz humping him. They're trying to run straight through him because he's not actually active until you go into the room. And they're running in from the other side and they're basically getting stuck on them. 
Now, there's a technique to killing this guy. Basically, shoot the legs first. And if we actually stand here, yep, there it is. The stomp, you've got to try and avoid. Now, this is actually a pretty easy boss battle. My sentinel just killed it. <laughs> that I didn't expect. There's them shield things come out the wall there and wow that was a really bad example of this boss battle if I'm honest. I like a really really bad one but I forgot to disable my sentinel. God damn you death cube you're evil. His range is evil as well. But yeah he is pretty easy to kill. Um, it's easier shoot his legs you make him go down and then aim for the body. Fortunately, Death Cube just does way too much damage and basically knocked him down once and he was dead. <laughs> but anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.